Buongiorno. The light is horrible. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go in this roundabout and it's gonna turn and change a little bit. So I decided to have uh, a video which is about hand gestures in Italy because it's it's insane that I it's been so long that I have a YouTube channel and I haven't made any videos about it. But so now I'm gonna give you ten hand hand gestures that you can uh, learn and, and use if you are in Italy or when you are in Italy. And then the end of the video, I'm gonna show you some Italians using hand gestures uh, at the market. There are, there are 250, around 250 hand gestures in Italy, which is insanely a lot. Uh, and it's uh, the origin of it is because Italy used to be divided by different countries and so it affected the, the language, it affected the culture itself uh, so there are, there are, you know, different dialects uh, uh, in Italy so they, oh sorry, so they had to come up with, uh, with a language that everyone can understand and that is hand gestures so eventually you can talk just by just with your hand and, and they will understand so it's quite cool and while you are learning the language and you are here like so if you're not learning the language in uh, in a classroom but you're learning the language with it when with Italians you are accidentally learning the hand gestures as well so when I talk in Italian I'm using way more hand gestures and I'm using head movements. I'm using them also now, but as I don't know, maybe yeah, I'm using also the, the Italian hand gestures, but anyway, so when I speak Italian, I, I use my hand uh, way more for sure. So the first one is everyone's favorite, this one, this hand gesture, uh, what you are using, yeah, you can use that, it like this. This means what? Like what? What are you talking about? Che cosa, cosa dici? It's like what are you talking about? Also you can use it like this, like uh, it's perfect because you can't see anything but like you can use it in front of you. I think you feel it when someone is saying something outrageous. So it's like what, what are you talking about? Che cosa, che cosa dici? Che cosa fai? What are you doing? And you have like this confused face. The second one I wrote down is see you later, see you later, a dopo. So when you are like, um, you know, when you're gonna meet with someone later, I mean, it's just kind of self-explanatory, but uh, it's like you're showing them like, see you later, later, dopo. This hand gesture, I need two hands. I shouldn't have do this while I'm driving, I'm just realizing it. Why I came up with this? <laughs> no. Maybe I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna, do all the hand gestures okay I stopped with the car so uh, ah, okay it's the come on it's like come on it's like you're doing this with your hand in front of you like this and your face is like it's like come on my die because of I and see it's, it's similar to this one it's just more like stronger I think see it's difficult to to, to change it to um, to to English the exact words what do I care is this one I don't it's like yeah I I don't care Mwah. perfect perfecto sis. but you're also you can do this which is more like well done well done you're doing it in front of you it is similar to this one I think it's really really close to that one it's perfect when you are it's like perfection in front of you perfection so you're like you're putting it together perfect perfect delicious delicious like mmm delicious uh, the nuance difference between like this perfection this perfection this is this is absolutely about food this well, this can be a lot of other stuff so it's not just about food but there's like nuance different differences this is like crazy out of your mind 
crazy next to your head crazy the smart one you can like close this eye or you can also do this smart one smart one and stubborn stubborn it's hard as a rock so yeah these are the 10 ones that i think is is kind of the most i see well, i don't know but yeah i see a lot these ones for sure or and i'm using using them also but yeah there's obviously a lot of others that i'm gonna you know later show you to you in different videos there are different topics also where you can you know combine them um yeah so and now we're gonna well i'm a little bit boring because we're gonna we are it's thursday again as last week so and on thursdays we are having a breakfast at one of my favorite breakfast spots and then uh, we're gonna go to the market but the point is now that i'm trying to like film for you some italians who are using hand gestures back in the car so now that I filmed uh, a bunch of people using the hand gestures and talking uh, I realized that it's so uh, that I realized like I realized that I was right when I said that I didn't make any videos in this 10 years uh, or not 10 years in it, this eight years about the hand gestures because it's so complicated it's not like um, you know one hand gesture is not a word or it's not a sentence that I was trying to give it to you in the beginning of the video because if it would be like that it would be easier but the point is that it's like so complicated and it's it's con it's um, it's so detailed it's so it gives you a lot of emotions instead of words one hand gesture so yeah it's it's much more detailed and complicated but you know this is the first video is it's it's simple and then i'm gonna open up this uh, topic more and more and talk about this more and more notice that the guy here that i showed you this hand gesture it's a praying eventually it's a praying hand gesture like ah oh, please uh, explain to me notice that he's using all of his body so at first there's the the the, the upper body moves forward and then doing the hand gesture the the face uh, tilt on this side and then the knees are bending in at the very end and he goes back that is everyone is doing it like that too so that is this is a whole movement 
and it's like you're because you're like praying with all your body like why is like this why yeah I think just from this one uh, uh, hand gesture I can make like you can make a I can make a 20 minute long video it's because it's so detailed the, the this whole thing I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something and now we're going home because Alberto is really sleepy <laughs> and see you next week and next week we're gonna go to have a trip so nice videos are coming again also from Italy and also from Hungary which is great and uh, yes so see you take care ciao ciao